closed mold manufacturing process used to fabricate high-quality composite parts, offering cost-effectiveness and ease of use for medium to large composite structures. It is different from our TM, which uses much more pressure and requires tools to be very heavy-duty and well-clamped. Hence, via our TM requires less investment to start manufacturing units. This process is specifically developed for making large composite parts, which are used in aerospace, ship and automobile industries. This presentation introduces the process of VRTM in detail including key steps in process, economic benefits and application in various industries. The VRTM process is a low-cost composite fabrication technique, differing from pre-preg laminated composites. The resin is infused into dry fabric, formed on a mold near product shape under vacuum pressure, and cured in an oven. The VARM process consists of two important mechanisms, flow of the resin through the preform, and compaction and relaxation of the preform under the vacuum pressure. The resin cure kinetics and viscosity must be known to ensure complete resin infiltration of the preform before resin gelation. For this, comprehensive simulation model must consist of three steps flashed on the screen. The modeling software also point out the placement of vacuum, resin inlet and overflow bleed ports on the mold. After modeling of process has been carried out, let us go through key steps in VRTM. Vacuum resin infusion is a highly efficient and precise method of manufacturing composite materials. It involves drawing a resin into a fiber mat in a mold through vacuum pressure. This process allows for a uniform distribution of the resin, ensuring consistent quality and integrity of the final product. Main steps in VRTM process include mold preparation, placement of reinforcement according to the required shape of the workpiece, and proper sealing of the vacuum bag. All these activities have been described on the screen. The VRTM process consists of two important mechanisms, flow of the resin through the preform, and compaction and relaxation of the preform under the vacuum force. Correspondingly, flow model and compaction model are developed to simulate the VARM fabrication process of the composites. It should be understood that the corrosion, heat distortion temperature and general surface finish is driven primarily by the selection of the resin, and while the mechanical strength is most attributed to the fiber reinforcement. Once the fibers are fully saturated, the resin is left to cure. Curing may occur at room temperature or under heat, depending on the resin system. After curing, the vacuum bag and peel plies are removed, and the composite part is taken out of the mold. All the seven steps that ensure good quality workpieces through this process have now been described in three slides display. Different reinforcement materials include fiberglass, Kevlar and carbon fibers. Resins can be polyester, epoxy and many other derivatives. Hardware essentially required for VRTM can be listed as vacuum bagging film, flow media, peel ply and sealant tape. Vacuum assisted resin transfer molding process can produce large structures in a cost effective way. Improved quality products are obtained with minimal environmental load as possibility of volatiles evolution during processing is reduced and little waste is generated during manufacturing of work pieces. Vacuum-assisted resin transfer molding is a high-efficiency composite fabricating process. However, materials made through this process have difficulty meeting the performance and quality requirements for applications on primary aircraft structures. It requires precise control of resin flow, and curing may require longer time hence, production rate cannot be rapid. This process can be applied for production of wide range of products in marine, aerospace, automotive and wind harnessing for energy. Industrial products include pipes and tanks. RTM and LRTM process all have the same fiber loading ratio of typically targeting 30% weight fiber. 70% resin. The tooling cost is lower, and relatively larger parts can be manufactured through VRTM. However, this process yields one smooth side, in contrast to our TM process. VRTM is different from our TM as our TM uses much more pressure, and requires tools to be very heavy duty and well clamped. VRTM can produce high quality large structures. Windmill blades are an excellent example of this process serving the cause of sustainability through use of renewable energy sources.
important web links related to technology education and mentoring center are flashed on the screen. More lectures have been designed by our CMB team introducing manufacturing techniques for glass, Kevlar and carbon composites products being commonly used in all walks of life. Do subscribe to our channel to remain updated on new lectures in the field of materials.